Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. The Pope continued his catechesis at the Wednesday General Audience which urges everyone to combine authentic solidarity with the virtue of faith in order to heal social ills in the post-pandemic world. After expressing his joy for the possibility of once again meeting with the faithful face-to-face -face instead of screen-to-screen, -screen, the Holy Father noted how the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted our interdependence for better or worse. Solidarity, therefore, is the way to emerging from the crisis better than before, he said. Dependence versus interdependence. All humanity, said the Pope, has its common origin in God. We dwell together in our common home, a garden planet where God has placed us and we have a common destination in Christ. But when we forget all this, our interdependence becomes dependence of some on others. He said, increasing inequality and marginalization, it weakens the social fabric and the environment deteriorates. Solidarity is a mindset. Pope Francis admitted that the word solidarity may seem a little worn out and poorly understood. Solidarity is more than a few sporadic acts of generosity. Rather, he said, solidarity involves creating a mindset which thinks, in terms of community and the priority of life, of all over the appropriation of goods by a few. More than that, said the Pope, solidarity is a matter of justice. A healthy and fruitful interdependence needs strong roots in the humanity and nature created by God. It needs respect for faces and for the land. The Pope went on to reflect on the biblical account of the Tower of Babel, Genesis 11, 1-9. When humanity tries to reach to heaven while ignoring our relationship with its other, creation and the Creator, we wind up unifying languages and constructing skyscrapers, but we destroy community and mortify cultural wealth. Another unfortunate result, said the Pope, is that we instrumentalize others as a workforce rather than building up a community. When shares fall in the financial markets, all the agencies report the news, he lamented. But when thousands of people fall due to hunger and no one talks about it. We continue this topic next Sunday. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus disease 2019 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace, for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians,
pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Kalungsun, pray for us. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Steve G. Santiago and Family, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, Stephen and Joy Santiago and Family, Sally Mae Santiago Lim and Benedicto Lim Jr. and Family, Sunny Boy and Luella Santiago and Family, APM Ad and Promo Management by Alex P. Montañez and Family, Mercy Evangelista and Family, St. John Paul II and College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrile, Tilino Tracking Services, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Mr. and Mrs. Protasio Takandong, Shardan, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Purita and Lorenzo and Family, Wellands Food House, PSST Boti Junk Shop, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Locas B. Datoy and Family, Jess and Amelia Dizon, Gus and Sophie, Fel Yamido and Family, Adolfo and Malo Ato, Amparo Icasas and Family, MR Human and Environmental College and Family, Vivian Cam, APC, Carwell Construction Incorporated, June and Beth Opos and Family. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group, Dabao Partsman and Sales Corporation, Maine and Tagum Branch by Erika and Lita Sunier and Family, Legacy 3, Alex and Bing Mikayabas and Family, Thanksgiving Intentions, Nida Tomalip, Dr. Carlos Tan and Family, Anonymous, Vita Rivera Bookkeeping Services, Elsa Garcia and Family, June and Beth Opus and Family, Marie Beth Juarez, Almazan Family, Mila and Lando Punsalan, Jerwin and Janice May Garcia, Alden and Jaisel Bentanila and Family, Lito and Erica Sooner and Family, Angie Kagaanan, FDM, Grace R. Quizon, Wilfredo and Nenen Sagon and Family, Ismael and Jasmine, AY and Family, Carla May Sunier Clemente and Family. Good Health, Lita Montalban. Birthday Intentions, Lydia Sunmera, Mer Marie Abigail Opos, Arias Batong, Wilhelmina Dancel, Erlinda Hamoy, Luz Llanillo, Diwata Paez, Bel Rosa Bio. Special Intentions, Janet and Arnel, Successful Wedding Celebration of Lloyd Peter and Isa Opus, to have the gift of a child, Marcelino and Lizelle and Rongo. Recovery and Healing of Email Season, Lourdes Dulatre, Christine Mabilin, 
Leo and Regina Shela Juarez. For the eternal repose of Father Fernando Suarez, Rodolfo Bernardo Milagros, Luciana Germin Elpidio Adelaida, Erlinda Claudio Thelma Marotas, Julio Minandro Sr. Anastasio Filipa Eduardo, Ernesto Sr. Manuel, Renerio Sr. Conrada, D. N. Cam, deceased members, Domingo Abraham Sr., Felisa Laudimer, Romel Tevez, Pablo Eugenia Francisca Benedicto, all who died of COVID-19, all the souls in purgatory, all the deceased members, benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Media Mission. Prayer for the Sick Lord and Father, God without end and Almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people. Deliver them from their sicknesses and restore their good health. So that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. All of this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's readings speaks of a real disciple of Jesus who cared for our neighbor. We should feel responsible for their spiritual as well as their physical welfare. Such an attitude of brotherly, sisterly concern may put on us the burden of giving fraternal correction to the person concerned. This may prove to be quite a challenge for every few people know how to give corrections in a real Christian manner. Equally few are those who know how to accept corrections graciously and gratefully. Today is the first Sunday in the month-long ecumenical observance called Season of Creation, which extends from 1 September to 4 October, Feast of St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of ecology. Let us pray in a special manner for all those who are promoting the preservation of the integrity of the environment in for the conversion of those who are destroying our planet. The presider of this Holy Mass is Father Joel Bagulna, SSP, Society of St. Paul, Catalunan Grande, Davao City. The choir during this Mass is the FSP Choir, Davao. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand as we start the Holy Mass. Come to the table, enter His presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate His love. Come to the table, Enter His presence, feast with thanksgiving, and celebrate His love. This is the house of the Lord, the gates are open and wide. Sinners and saints, strong and faint, all come to come inside. To the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate thanksgiving, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. 
Welcome, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in our Eucharistic celebration. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather here as one community, we acknowledge our sins, our failures, our weaknesses, full of trust, full of confidence. We ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of mercy, He is full of compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth. Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, love of God, Son of the Father. Take away the sins of the world, mercy, O God. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, of mercy, O God. Glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of you and me, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high. the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good. Let us pray. O God, 
by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. One of the main tasks of a prophet was to warn transgressors about their impending punishment if they did not repent. Such was the vocation of Ezekiel, the prophet sent by God to be a watchman for the house of Israel. The first reading. A reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die. And you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way. The wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you want the wicked, trying to turn him from the, his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt. But you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. In today you hear his voice, not your Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, not your heart. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, hold it not your having reminded us about our duties toward God, today, St. Paul turns his attention to our duties toward our neighbor. The essence of his teaching is that what matters most is to love all, for love is the fulfillment of the law. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill. 
You shall not steal. You shall not covet. And whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in the saying, namely, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Speak to God. The Lord be with you and with you. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a gentile a tax collector. Amen, I say to you. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen, amen, I say to you. If two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For we are two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, nakapagpatawad ka na ba? Paano ka ba nagpapatawad? Kapag sila, eh, surya, tapos na ba? Well, siguro sa ating pagninilay-nilay, sa ating misang ito, gusto ko pong magsimula sa pamagitan po ng pagtanong. At sana po, sagutin natin ang tanong na ito ng buong katapatan. Mga kapatid, may mga pagkakataon po bang masasabi nyo ang ganito? Ah, sa naman ay makasalanan, hindi po ba? Kaysa dapat ang lumapit sa akin para mag-sorry. Ano ako hilo kung ako pang lalapit sa kanya? Siya ang dapat pumunta sa akin at lumapit at tumingi ng tawad. Kasi siya man ang nakasala sa akin, di po ba? Kapatid, ganyan ka ba? Ganyan ba ang ugali natin sa nakasala sa atin? Well, Kung ating titinan, how could we reconcile with what Jesus is teaching about fraternal or sisterly correction na ating narinig sa ating ebanghelyo sa araw na ito? 
At ito nga po ang ating ebanghelyo ay nagsasabi po sa atin, nagkikwento sa ating tungkol po sa issue of what we should do or what should be our attitude towards our brother, towards our sister who is eating. Yung bang nagkamali sa atin, yung bang nagkasala sa atin. Kasi siguro ang ibanghelyo na ito masasabi natin, para bagang blueprint ito. Para bagang printer ito. On how to do a fraternal or sisterly correction. At yung gustong ipaabot ang ating Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. At narinig po natin mga kapatid na Jesus advice is straightforward. Wala po siyang patumpik-tumpik, ika nga. Na kung magkasala man ang iyong kapatid against you, puntahan mo siya. Sabihan mo siya. Tungkol sa kanyang pagkakamali between you and him or her alone. Take note, ha? It says that the offended party, not the offending one should seek reconciliation. Para bagang baliktad, no? Pada rin hirap. Oo nga naman. Well, it counsels personal intervention and open dialogue between sa nagkasala at yung taong na nagawa ng kasalanan. Because it encourages members of our Christian community to strengthen things, ika nga, out with each or other privately. Kung baga, dalawa lang muna kayo. Hayan mo muna ang iba. Wala naman pakialam yun. So if you feel that someone has wronged against us, we should immediately put our complaint or grievance into words. Pag-usapan, ika nga. Just the two of you. Pero bago natin pupuntahan at kausapin ng nagkasala ay tiyakin po muna natin din siguro sa ating sarili na ang namamayani po sa atin. Yung pagmamalasakit po natin. At higit sa lahat, yung pagmamahal po natin. At sa ating kapwa, at hindi po yung panunumbat, hindi po yung galit, hindi po yung paghihiganti. It should not be our purpose na ay puntahan ko siya, makaganti man lang. Puntahan ko siya, mapagalitan man lang. Puntahan ko siya, makabawi man lang. Ika nga, hindi po. At sabi nga ng ating Panginoon, eh kung hindi makinig sa iyo, take one or two other along with you. Na dapat daw, ah, mayroon kang saksi. Mayroon kang saksi. Kaya mga kapatid, if we cannot get the wrongdoer to listen to us in private, sabi nga natin kanina, dalawa lang, one on one, well, the presence of wise, of gracious, and concerned friends can help us also makatulong po ito to create a new atmosphere of reconciliation. Na mayroon ka kasama, ayan no, oh, umingi na ako ng tawad, ayan no, oh, napapasensya na ako, ayan no, oh, gusto ko nang mag-reconcile sa iyo. May saksi. At syempre, ang ganitong pagtatagpo ay hindi po isang confrontation. Hindi po ito pagdidibate. Hindi po ito paniningil. Ika nga. Do it in a nice way. Kaya sabi ko, hindi yan konfrontasyon. But it is a gathering of Christian friends na nagsusumikap trying faithfully to become also reconciled. Na maayos ang gusot na isto. Mapag-usapan ang gulong ito. Magkaroon po ng pagpapatawad sa isa't isa. Reconciliation, ika nga, in the spirit of Jesus. 
Kaya mga kapatid, narinig ulit natin sa ating Ibanghelyo na sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Well, kung hindi pa rin siya makinig, hindi po ba na may saksi ka, sabihin mo sa simbahan. Sabihin mo sa simbahan. Ay, Father, bakit sa simbahan? Bakit doon pa? Well, telling it a church or community, hindi po ibig sabihin niya, ah, pumunta kayo doon sa korte. Hindi po ibig sabihin, ah, mag-press conference kayo. Hindi po ibig sabihin na, ay gawa ka ng poison letter. Lalo ngayon, hindi po ba? May mass media na. Minsan, what I'm feeling now is feeling peace talaga ako, feeling angry talaga ako, naka-broadcast na. Minsan, di po ba? Lalo ngayon, may mga isyo ngayon sa isang tao, nagkarelasyon. Ayun, nagpa-interview. Nagpa-press replace. Ang tagal-tagal na pala nangyari. Bakit ngayon ka lang lumantad? Mayroon naman dyan, ah, ipabaranggay kita. Mayroon naman dyan, ah, isumbong kita sa subungan ng bayan. Mayroon naman dyan, ah, interview ako kasi may kilala ako ng broadcaster, may kilala ako sa media, papahiya kita. Hindi po ganun. Hindi po ganun. So, presuming that all we were still moving in the spirit of Jesus, we are invited to continue being patient. Ika nga. Both with the process with one another. Pag-usapan ng mahinahon. Huwag idaan sa galit. Huwag idaan na mapahiya po ang ibang tao. Na hindi po pala dapat tayo masira ng luhob dahil ay tila kawalan na po ng bunga ang pagsisikap natin. Kaya nakipagsangayon at makipagsundo uli po tayo sa taong nagkasala sa atin. Dahil po ang Diyos mismo ang talagang mag-aayos nito. Pada anong ibig sabihin man? Well, my dear friends, the main point is this, that we must continue engaging in a Christian dialogue. Maka-Kristyano na pag-uusap. Na huwag po tayo sumuko on earing brother or sabi, abayaan mo dyan. We must exalt all Christian means to win him or to win her again. Na sana magbalik man lang ang magandang relasyon ng bawat isa sa atin. At ito nga po, sinabi na naman ng ating Panginoon na kung hindi man lang yan makinig kahit na sa simbahan, may isa pang paraan, treat him or her as you would treat a Gentile or a tax collector. If eh, other, bakit ganun? Treating the stubborn and the unrepentant from doer like a pagan o isang maniningil ng buwis. Hindi po ito ibig sabihin ng negatibo. Hindi po ito ibig sabihin na i-abandon na mo. Hindi po ito ibig sabihin, ah, hopeless case na yan, Father. Kaya ituring mo siyang pagano. Ituring mo siyang makasalanan. Hindi po. Kasi kung ating titignan, mga kapatid, paano po ba nitra, natrato ng ating Panginoon ang mga pagano? Paano po ba trinato ng ating Panginoon ang mga makasalanan? Paano po ba trinato ng ating Panginoon ang mga namaningil ng buwis noong kanyang kapanahunan? Hindi po ba mga public sinner? Our Lord Jesus Christ treats the sinner with more compassion. May pagmamahal. With more understanding. With more forgiveness. At higit sa lahat, mayroon pong awa. Mayroon pong awa. So kaya sabi dito, we must treat the same way our stubbornness 
and unrepentant brothers and sister. Kasi hindi po ba may kasabihan naman tayo, love your enemies. Ito po ang gusto ng ating Panginoon ngayon. And this is love in practice. This is forgiving love that seeks reconciliation. At kung ano man po ang ating ipinagdarasal, ano man po ang ating sinasabi para sa ating mga kapatid na nakaroon po ng pagkautang sa atin, ng pagkakulang sa atin, ng pagkasala sa atin, should be motivated by love. And by love alone. Pag-ibig, ika nga. Kaya mga kapatid, our mutual service, we can render a very important one. Mahalaga po ito ng ating pag-correct, fraternal correction or sister correction is very important. At ang sa ganun hindi masira ang isang relasyon. Because our mutual service can render a very, very important one. Yan po ang pagwawasto, pag-aayos ng isang kamalian. Tayo po hindi po ba isang pamilya ng Diyos? Tayo po ay isang magkakapatid. Tayo po ay may pananagutan sa isa. Isa. Napakaganda kasi isa po yan sa mga kanta. Tayo lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos na kapiling niya. Kaya mga kapatid, correcting someone is a brotherly and sisterly service. And therefore, it is an act of love. Totoo po ang kasabihan na I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. Kaya nga po siguro ang tanong kanina, nagpapatawad ka ba? Paano ka nagpapatawad? Kaya naalala ko noon po, nung ako'y seminarist pa, alam mo naman po ang buhay seminaryo, buhay po yan ang mga schedule, may oras po ang pagising, may oras ang pagdasal, may oras po ang pagkain, may oras ang misa, ang pag-aaral, paglaro. At isa po sa mga aktividades namin noon bilang mga simnarista ay mayroon po kaming tinatawag na mayroong session of fraternal correction. Father, anong ibig sabihin yan? Ang ginagawa po namin noon ay sa isang klase, alimbawa, nagtitipon kami sa isang once a month, alimbawa. And usually, the session goes like this. Opo kami po ng pabilog. Magdasal kami, naka-holding hands, and then we will spend some moments of silence. Some moments of reflection. At gagawa po kami tinatawag natin na examination of conscience. And then anyone who is ready to listen, Pupupo po doon sa gitna with a spirit of humility para po punain, para i-correct, para ituwid po ng buong klase namin and will sit in the middle of the circle. Napakaganda. Napakaganda po. So ang bawat isa sa amin ay makaroon po ng oportunidad to express may hinanakit ka ba dyan sa kaklase mo? Ano po ba ang maibigay na feedback para sa kaklase mo? May galit ka ba? Ano mo ang sasabi mo sa kanya? Fraternal correction. Yes, my dear friends, the idea for us is to learn. To learn to express our feelings in a healthy way sa bawat isa sa amin. And of course, 
yun po ay isang sagrado, sagrado na pagkakataon para sa amin. Because that was the time that we can correct one another in the spirit of Christian charity and genuine dialogue. At yan din po ngayon ang imitasyon ng ating Panginoon sa atin. If your brother sins against you, go. Tell him or her between you and him or her alone. At ito din po ngayon ang paanyaya sa atin ni San Pablo sa ating ikalawang pagbasa sa araw na ito mula po sa sulat niya sa taga-Roma Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. And love does not does no evil to the neighbor. At yan din po ang kasabihan, hindi po ba na sasabi, love is the one thing that cannot hurt your neighbor. Pag-ibig pa rin sa sinasabi natin kanina. Na nagpapatawad tayo, nagkokorek tayo dahil sa pag-ibig na ito. Sa padaling sabi mga kapatid, isang bagay lang po ang dapat maging dahilan. Isang bagay lang po ang motibo natin. Isang bagay lang po ang rason sa pagtatama ng kapatid natin na nagkamali sa atin. Isang bagay lang. Ito po ay pag-ibig. Pag-ibig. Sabi nga mga kapatid, People will not care what you know until they know that you care. Ang ganda, no? People will not care what you know until they know that you care. Kaya dapat po natin tandaan, mga kapatid, that whatever we do, whatever we say to our brother or a sister who sins should be manipulated by love pagmamahal and by love alone it is the one thing that cannot hurt our neighbor ulitin ko po ang tanong natin kanina sa ating pagdinilay sa araw na ito ikaw kapatid handa ka bang magpatawad kung nagpapatawad ka, paano ka po nagpapatawad? Do you forgive because of love? Do you forgive because of love? Siya nawa. Amen. At bilang tugon po sa mga salita ng ating Panginoon, tumayo po tayo ngayon at ating ipahayag ating pananampalataya. I believe in God, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten and not made, substantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for all salvation, He came down from heaven. And by, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, Jesus reminds us that where two or three gathered in his name, he is in their midst. He also tells us that prayer offered in his name will surely be granted by our Heavenly Father. And so, encouraged by this promise, we say, In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Universal Church, that she may never grow tired of proclaiming the gospel of conversion and forgiveness to all nations, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all those who hold a position of authority in the Church, that the fulfillment of their task of warning the faithful against moral failings may be fruitful, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters who have been violating the law of the Lord, that they may heed his exhortations to conversion, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. For each of us, that we may learn to accept corrections with humility and correct others with charity, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. For all those who have violated the sacredness of God's creation by using its resources in a selfish manner and no concern for the rights and safety of others, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. For all the elderly, the sick, the orphans, may they receive the Holy Spirit the healer at this time of suffering and fear. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, that they will enter the joy of paradise, especially the victims of COVID-19, the deceased members of the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline Media Mission, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear our prayer. Lord God, grant us the humility we need to admit our sins and the courage to fulfill the duty of correcting our erring brothers and sisters with charity and with love. You will live and reign and forgive forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creations and goodness. We have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands it will become for our bread of life. This is the God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. This is
My dear friends, the table is ready. Pray therefore that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, may we be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so we gathered here as one family. We gathered here as one community. With all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory, O in the highest, O Sana, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana, in the highest, O Sana, in the highest, O Sana, in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of our holiness. Make all therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and bring from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that we the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially Saint Paul, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Our Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always free from sin and save from all distress, as await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May dear friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you and peace be with you. The sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Behold Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we are gathered here and invited to partake in his holy banquet. For those who cannot receive Holy Communion, we pray the Spiritual Communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, 
I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not work in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray. One, that you are faithful, O Lord, who be nourished and endowed with life, to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, May so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Are you in darkness now? Have you hit a roadblock in your relationship with the Lord? When all the road seems impossible, where do you turn? Strength in darkness. This book is the wisdom from John of the Cross, offers you his wise counsel as a road map through rough terrain. This book is available at the Pauline's Media Center, Davao City, Philippines. The price is $125 per copy. Have a meaningful day today. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, in this Mass, the Lord invited us to forgive those who have sinned against us. And so, go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Till the end of my days, O oh Lord, I will bless your name. Sing your praise, give you thanks all my days. You have made me a little less than a God, and have blessed my heart with your love. With dignity and honor, you clothe me. Healing me all over all Till the end of my days, O oh Lord I will bless your name Sing your praise